it is cold here at the North Pole and I am here to uh, share with you a wonderful stack of Christmas books for children today. Um, you know, in my last fall tour video, I spoke about hospitality and how that seems to be lost in today's world. And you know, we have our children who love their electronic devices. And let's get them away from that and actually spend time with them and with your family. That's what you can do with the magic of books. So I have a lovely selection because, you know, I, I am a children's librarian and I have favorites that I have read to my students over the years. Um, <clears throat> so I really am excited. These books you can find either at your public library, bring them home and read them to the children in your lives, or you can purchase them and give them for a Christmas present because you know our children get so many toys at Christmas time. Let's give them something that they can save and really remember. It will be a memory that that will stay with them, that cozy feeling of snuggling with you and reading a wonderful story all together, either with one single child or gather them with you in bed at night and read them a book. Oh my goodness, their little wrapped faces will make you so happy. So let's get started on my list of books. I'll take off my gloves and reach over here and start on my selection of books. The first one that I have chosen is called The Legend of the Poinsettia. And this is a book written by Tommy DePaula. He's one of my favorite children's authors and he's also an illustrator, so he did all the pictures in this book. And this is a story that takes place in Mexico. It's a lovely story of Christmas time and how the poinsettia came to become a Christmas flower. So this is really great and your children will love it. My next book is uh, set during the Harlem Renaissance. And this book is illustrated by another one of my favorite children's illustrators, James Ransom. Uh, the author is T.E. McMorrow. And this book is um, about a little girl who is surrounded by family and friends who all can sing and have musical talent, but she is afraid. She's afraid to sing, she's shy. And it's the story of how she overcame that with a dream about the Nutcracker Suite. Wonderful story and beautiful illustrations. Let me just open this book and give you a peek. There's all the toy soldiers in the Nutcracker. Um, okay, so that's a great one to share or to purchase for that special child in your life. Uh, this is a great book that I got last year at Walmart, actually, and it's called God Gave Us Christmas. And this is to the story of the birth of baby Jesus, and it's told <laughs> through these polar bears. Uh, a polar bear mama telling the story to her little baby. Lovely story and simple for your younger children to understand. Then another favorite. I guess they're all my favorites, actually. <laughs> this one is called the, let me see, The Wild Christmas Reindeer. And this is done by Jan Brett. All of these authors have written more than one book. And if you like these books, look for more by that same author because you will really enjoy them. They're excellent at telling stories for children. This is a story of a little elf. Her name is Tinka and how she prepares the reindeer for Christmas Eve and Santa's journey all around the world. So this is a very, very fun story. And Jan Brett is well known for her illustrations 
being sort of in the Scandinavian style. Here you can see how they look. Aren't they beautiful? So Jan Brett, fantastic. Of course, one of the all-time perennial favorites is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And you might want to read this book to your children before they see any of the movies that have been made from the book, because I always say the book is always better than the movie. And, you know, if you read this first, uh, and let them really savor and enjoy this wonderful story. And then they can also enjoy the movies. Another one of my favorite illustrators of all time is Jerry Pinckney. And this book is called The All I Ever Want for Christmas Doll. And Jerry Pinckney and um, Patricia McKissick. Patricia McKissick is the author. She's another very prolific author, has written some fantastic books. And then we have um, Jerry Pinckney do the, doing the illustrations. They are just so beautifully uh, painted. And I'll just open it up and give you a peek. Have a look. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, Jerry Pinckney um, is a multiple-time uh, award-winning illustrator. And um, this is a lovely story that takes place during the Depression, when, of course, everyone was poor. And this in this family, they have three little girls. And the one little girl, she wants this doll that she saw like in a Sears catalog, I think, I saw a picture of it and she wanted it so badly for Christmas and Santa brings one of those dolls and the three sisters kind of have to work out how they're gonna share that doll and who it's going to belong to and so on and still have their sister love together. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is a fun animal story for your children who love animals. This is called Bear Stays Up, and it's written by Karma Wilson. And this is actually a series of book about this bear. They're really cute stories, and Bear Stays Up uh, is about how his animal friends help him to stay up at Christmas time you know, so he can enjoy Christmas with them since bears normally hibernate in the wintertime. And it's a really sweet little story with lots of cute little animals. Um, here's Bear with some of his animals. And they're all good friends and they take care of each other. Just all of these stories are wonderful stories about friendship and or family and being kind to each other and compassionate. I love having that as part of the literature that our children are hearing and enjoying and learning from. Um, another fabulous book by Tommy DePaula again is called The Clown of God. And this book, takes place in Italy during the Renaissance, and it's about a little boy who had no family, was all alone, but he learns to juggle, and it takes him all the way from his childhood to uh, the end of his life, and it is a very wonderful story. It incorporates a love of the Lord within the story. You will really, really enjoy it. I actually cry when I read it. I've been running through these books rather quickly, haven't I? But I have two more to go. One is called The Christmas Tugboat. And this book is illustrated by James Ransom, who I mentioned earlier. And uh, another fabulous illustrator you cannot miss. And this is the story, just as it says here on the cover, how the Rockefeller Center 
Christmas tree came to New York City. And it's the story of this little tugboat, the Christmas tugboat. Isn't that a cute idea for a wonderful Christmas story? And it's about the men who run the tugboat and bringing the uh, Christmas tree to New York, as I said. So anyway, this is a fun one. I think boys especially might like this because you know how they like boats and cars and so on. So uh, this is a good Christmas story for your children as well. Um, and my final one is a lovely story by Patricia Polacco. She's an illustrator and author also. And this story is called The Trees of the Dancing Goats. I simply adore it. And I love it because this is a story so much of how people from different backgrounds can get along well together because uh, this is based on Patricia's life. This actually happened to her when, with uh, her family when she was a little girl. Her mother was Jewish and they were spending um, Christmas with her grandparents in um, Michigan, I believe. And there was a scarlet fever epidemic uh, Patricia's mom's side of the family is Jewish and her father's side of the family is Italian, Catholic. <laughs> so that's a mixture. But this year they were spending it with her grandma and grandpa who were Jewish and they were preparing for Hanukkah. But all of their Christian neighbors got sick with the scarlet fever epidemic and they were, they were not sick. So they helped their Christian friends celebrate Christmas and have a Christmas tree. I almost forgot one last book. It is called um, Christmas in the Manger. And this is a very simple, simple story of the birth of baby Jesus. And what I like about it for your youngest children is that it is a, a board book. So, you know, those are always wonderful with your toddlers, preschoolers but it has a very, very simple story telling about the animals who visited baby Jesus and the whole story, you know, the wise men coming and so on. So this is a great book and I did find this one on Amazon. So we have a wonderful selection for you all to share with the children in your lives. And I hope you will do that because, you know, that is just, I can't describe to you how wonderful it is to see the uh, engrossed expression on children's faces and their little smiles and just their enjoyment of a really good story. So some of the books that I showed you today are for a little bit older children, you know, more upper elementary, and some of them can be enjoyed by younger children, third graders, second graders, and so on. And then we have a couple for more preschool age children. So I really hope you go out and take advantage of this uh, type of gift for the children in your lives and share with them that love and that warmth and coziness when you're, you've got them on your lap and you're reading them a very beautiful story. Please do that. You will be so happy spending time with your children in this way. So till the next time, and don't forget, subscribe. I have more coming up. Lots of Christmas videos that are planned and will be coming soon. So now take care and enjoy the rest of the fall.